Let me tell y'all something, all right? Look, y'all, we all know I'm a fair-minded brother. I'm going to call it like I see it. And I know y'all wondering, you sit up here and you see me calling it like I see it. And sometimes I sound a little critical of the king, whatever. You understand? Know what or my, my man Shiggy on Instagram will say, yo, king. Wait a minute now. We ain't talking about a game. We ain't talking about a series here. One game. That king. Let me be very, very clear. I want to make sure everybody understands where I'm coming from. This is about a lot. This is about that, y'all. Make no mistake about it. LeBron in L.A. makes L.A. relevant again. And anytime a big market like L.A. is relevant, that is a beautiful thing. That's what this is about. That's what this needed. That's what was needed so desperately. Now, for those of you who don't know, Magic Johnson was at LeBron James' house face-to-face, 9.01 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. One minute after the NBA free agency period opened. They talked for three hours. It was the first time that Magic Johnson and LeBron James ever sat down face-to-face, one-on-one in the 16 years that LeBron James has been in the NBA. This was special, y'all. And LeBron and Magic sold him, and LeBron James was done. He came off vacation to meet with, Matt, with LeBron. LeBron flew in from his vacation, rather, to come home so, Le, so Magic Johnson could meet him at the crib. That's what this is. So we understand what's going on here. Philly didn't have a chance, really. They gave him the interview tonight, but they didn't really have a chance. It was all about L.A. He did what he did for Cleveland. It's time to move on. Got two $20 million homes, totaling $44 million. This is where he wanted to be. Now, being here, there is one element of pressure, and that one element of pressure is this. Other than Elgin Baylor, every star that has ever worn the purple and gold Deliver the championship. Every one of them. All right? So LeBron's going to have to do that too. Understand that he's going to have to do that too. And that's what matters. But understand this is what it comes down to. LeBron is in L.A. Now from what else I heard, San Antonio was already on the phone with the Lakers twice today. They're trying to get a deal done. San Antonio's asking for the farm. Lakers ain't having it. Magic and, and Raul Palenka have told them Kyle Kuzma is off limits. He ain't going nowhere. So they're going to have to figure out something. Because Magic's whole mentality is, yo, if you don't come, now if you don't give him to us now, he coming to us next summer. So why am I going to give up the farm to get him? So that's where Magic is coming at it from. That is the situation. That is what we're talking about here. That is what it is. Either way you slice it, I love this. I can't wait, but I ain't going to give it all to y'all. I got so much more. I'll see y'all tomorrow on First Take. First Take ain't on in the morning this week. Only this week. First Take is not on in the morning. It'll be on from 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Tomorrow afternoon from 4.30 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. That's where the crew will be on. First, there will be a First Take on ESPN2. I'll probably show my face there at the top of the show to touch up on this a little bit. But I'm going to really get into it tomorrow for that 90-minute special. All week long, we'll be on from 4.30 to 6 p.m. on Eastern on Eastern Standard Time on ESPN. So I got to get on out of here for now. But I just wanted to give y'all a lowdown, let y'all know what time it was. I'm happy because I get to be in L.A. Damn, 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 damn. I love L.A. Damn, 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 damn. We love it. <laughs> a reason to be excited. Don't expect the Lakers to win. Don't think I'm thinking the Lakers going to win the championship because they're not. They'll be back in the playoffs, but they'll be irrelevant enough for me to go to L.A. What can I say? I ain't apologizing for that. Oh, by the way, stay off the weed. Duh. I just did that for folks out there that love me saying that. That obviously has nothing to do with LeBron. Just want to let y'all know.